you guys, this is Alyssa with Eden Angora, and today I want to talk to you about how to prepare your Angora rabbit for motherhood. So with us today we have sisters, they're bonded, um, Margot and Belina, they're French Angora does that are due in about a week to a week and a half from now. And this is the latest that I recommend um, trimming them up before they give birth. We just have had a lot going on and you don't want to do it too early either because the wool will start to grow back around their nipples. And you don't want that either, that defeats the purpose. So you only need a few tools. I have with me my Andy's Pro and some nail trimmers. And that's what we'll be using today. Now I do want to mention why we do this too. You want the babies to be able to access the nipples of the doe um, to feed. And also, you want to trim their nails so that they don't scratch their babies getting in and out of the nest box, especially while they're giving birth. It's a stressful time for them. Now, I don't recommend doing this a day or two before they give birth. It's just the nails will be too sharp then. Even just the area that you cut will be sharp. So you want to give it a few days. Alrighty, most of the work we're going to do is with the does on their back. So I will get one of them in position and uh, get right back with you. Okay, so we are back with Belina. I apologize if the angle isn't superb. I'm very, very new to filming, let alone filming and trying to do something at the same time. But you want to support your doe's back on her way over onto her, onto your lap. She has her sister here hopping around for some moral support. And then you're just gonna gently take the tips, very tips off the nails. Do not wanna quick your dough or cause unnecessary stress of especially while she's pregnant. However, this is something that I've regretted not taking care of in the past. So it's worth it to me to make sure it gets done now. I try to be somewhat quick about it if I can. It's not their favorite position to be in, understandably. And then we're gonna give her a little break in between getting her nails done and getting her belly trimmed. So I'm just gonna lift her up. You want to elevate their lungs above their hind feet. It helps with their breathing. Helps her stay calm. Just let her know everything's gonna be okay. These two are probably my most nervous does. So <laughs> it might not go smoothly. I think that's all part of the educational purpose of this video too. So I usually lean my chest forward to support her hind legs as I scoot her back down. And then we're gonna turn on our clippers and fold down these front paws, exposing her bib. Now we're not gonna shave off that bib. We are just gonna shave around it. First I'm just gonna place the clippers on her. And then we're gonna very gently make a little starting point. Now you don't press, don't angle it down like this. You're gonna keep it parallel to her skin. You do not wanna clip any nipples off. Just very nice and easy. I'll try to show you this when it's done. Angora wool is so thick 
that these little baby rabbits can get stuck in it trying to find the nipples. They're very much um, depending on mankind <laughs> for survival. These, these rabbits are not made to be wild. They're not Eastern cottontails. Definitely around the armpits. Get that wool out of there. There are two nipples right up in that area. She is being so well behaved. This is another hold I really like. They seem to like a lot, the rabbits, um, when you're working on their stomach. So I trimmed off Belina's whole skirt. Now she is ready. I will give you some different shots of her. The only thing we left on her was this big fluffy beard right here. It's called a bib. You can see that. Everything else is nice and trimmed. Now, um, I did pluck her prime wool. This is her next coat coming in. But for time's sake, and because it's shorter anyway, and the skin is more sensitive here along the skirt line, I just use my Andes and trim that off. Now the reason why we left that big beautiful bib is so that she can pull it out and make her nest for her babies. And I just think it would be pretty mean to take that away from her right before she has her babies because she's gonna be looking for that bib and that's why it has all this loose skin here so that she can grab this wool and make her nest. Okay, Miss Belina, you're done. And I'm showing you the whole process of flipping her over. So you're gonna support her as much as you can. Support her the back of her neck. And then you can tuck their ears down between your knees to give you a little added security. Now I'm just gonna check the condition of her bib. I can see that some of it's very loose. You also have to keep in mind that just because you trimmed this wool doesn't mean that it's not going to molt out and cause a potential hazard with wool block. So you can't just stop grooming just because you trim them up. I try to keep my lips away from their back feet. If you're leaned over too far during the nail trimming process, you could get kicked in the face. but it also helps your own safety to keep these nails trimmed. Whoop. <laughs> so that's proof that I'm not pinching her ears too tightly between my knees because she can get up if she wants to. However, it gives her a little more incentive to stay still and me a little more time to react when she does get up. I'm just gonna calm her down for a second, set down my tools and gently tuck her ears back in, put her back where I want to. You wanna move slowly when they're being really feisty because it's not that they're trying to be bad, most of the time it's that they're scared. So you want to be reassuring, slow movements, not quick reactive movements like a predator. There we go. Her nails are done. I'm noticing some more really loose wool in this bib, so I'm going to pull that off. And it's just going to get looser as time goes by um, toward her pregnancy because her body will naturally get it ready to release as well. But since she has a whole week and a half, I don't want this wool flying all over the rabbitry. We try to keep it as clean as we possibly can. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my clipper away from the rabbit. And then it's all about the angles. Don't angle it down like this. Keep it parallel. Right below the bib, between the front legs. Clear out those little nipples. And 
and I'm not concerned with saving this wool. So I'm just going to shave it off one little layer at a time until I expose the nipples. Because if you cut too deep and too much at once, you might end up paying for it. And a rabbit that just doesn't trust you, easy. It's not going to do you any favors grooming and wool collecting in the long run. It's more important to me that Margot knows I'm not going to hurt her. <sighs> Belina's scratching around. She wants to get out of the carrier. Easy. Margot's one of my most difficult does to work with, so um, I wanted to keep Belina away so she didn't have as many distractions, but Belina isn't happy about that. Okay, so now we just have a little more wool down here to remove, and then she'll be done. And she'll be very happy about that. You also have to keep in mind that their ears are going to get really hot being pinched between your knees, and that's the rabbit's cooling system. So again, you don't want to keep those ears between your knees for too long. And if that means you have to lift them up and take lots of breaks, that is great. That is just fine. Um, to take a little tip from the horse world, Monty Roberts always said, if you act like you have 15 minutes to do something with an animal, it's going to take you all day. If you act like you have all day and you're patient, then it'll take you 15 minutes. And I have found that to be true across the board when dealing with animals. Good girl. So with their skirts trimmed, their bellies trimmed, and their nails cut, these two are ready to have their babies. Their bibs intact. <laughs> They're ready to have their babies next week. Margo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something beneficial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and realize that I am a brand new YouTuber, <laughs> but I hope some of this was um, helpful advice. Take care guys. Bye.